Lindsey Brown. And I'm Jen Kane. Here's our top story. Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon, died Saturday at age 82, making this the worst week ever for anyone named Armstrong. <laughs> Republicans have canceled the first day of their convention in Tampa due to the approach of Hurricane Isaac. So closeted gay Republicans won't be the only things in Tampa blowing. <laughs> Michelle Obama says she's now okay with Sasha and Malia watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Explain the First Lady. There just comes a time that you have to admit that you love whores. <laughs> <laughs> Microsoft has unveiled a new logo. It's just like the Apple logo, only slower and lamer. <laughs> Forbes magazine has ranked German Chancellor Angela Merkel as the most powerful woman in the world. Coming in close second, Steven Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> On Friday, a jury ordered Samsung to pay Apple $1.5 billion for copying the patents of iPhones and iPads. Commented Samsung's lawyer. Uh, I told my clients not to worry. That's right. I passed the bus. <laughs> Jay Leno has agreed to a $5 million per year pay cut. NBC plans to use the extra money to pay off victims of Leno's comedy. <laughs> and now, where hard news meets Hollywood, here with the entertainment news is our very own Cosmo Coinga. <laughs>
arrested after it was discovered that they were forcing toddlers to get into fist fights with each other. <laughs> Commented one of the toddlers. <laughs> Those bad ladies had to go away for breaking the first rule. You don't talk about toddler fight club. And the second rule. You don't talk about toddler fight club. And I'm sure there's more rules, but I haven't learned to count any higher. Mommy, I want to get another tattoo. A new study proves that yo-yo diets do not screw up a person's metabolism. However, they do make a person really, really sick of eating yo-yos. 